save our planet the many costs of biodiversity loss. A two-year study by accounting firm PricewaterhouseCoopers, commissioned by the UN Environment Program, or UNEP, titled The Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity, or TEEB, puts a price tag on the economic impact of environmentally damaging business practices that cripple or prevent flora and fauna from providing ecosystem services. The report brings attention to the largely ignored multi-billion dollar deficits resulting from activities that cause water contamination, deforestation, fish depletion, and land loss due to soil erosion and drought. The estimated annual cost to the world economy in 2008 for such practices was between 2 trillion US dollars and 4.5 trillion US dollars, equating to as much as 7.5% of global income. These findings are particularly critical today as human-caused global warming continues to trigger the rapid deterioration of global biodiversity. Dr. Heather Mackay of the International Wetlands Conservation Agreement, the Ramsar Convention, spoke to Supreme Master Television of the gravity of the situation. It's really got to the point where it's very serious. We're, we are seeing now um, many very significant uh, tipping points being reached in ecosystems. So we're very worried and need to try and reverse this. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or FAO, has named Over animal raising projects. for meat and dairy production among the primary factors of biodiversity loss. As an earlier FAO report stated, indeed, the livestock sector may well be the leading player in the reduction of biodiversity, since it is the major driver of deforestation, as well as one of the leading drivers of land degradation, pollution, climate change, overfishing, sedimentation of coastal areas, and facilitation of invasions by alien species. It's true that intensive production of livestock can take up significant resources. We will all have to look at our diets, what we eat, what we consume, where we get our water. All of those things will become important. So we need to work at international level, on governance, at national level, with policies and laws. But we will also need to actively restore large ecosystems to restore biodiversity. To protect it. Thank you, Dr. Mackay, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and UNEP for highlighting yet another aspect of the immense benefit provided by the plants and animals in our environment. May we all quickly adopt a biodiversity conserving plant based diet for the sake of the global economy as well as all life on Earth. Supreme Master Ching Hai has long emphasized the vital need for conservation and protection of all fellow beings, as during a July 2008 video conference in Formosa, or Taiwan. So we lost many of these precious species. We lost many of us because they are us, and we still not wake up yet. We should have more rules, more guidelines to protect our natural habitats. Above all, enlightenment is really what's needed to go on. That's number one. And a vegan diet with right motive. Number two, we offer more compassion and insight. Also, we help preserve precious natural habitats for the wild and protect the resources for humans.